murdered the Code Gray! You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! It was news to me. The Lord said in the meeting tonight, and I begin to write. Tell the people! It was I. Tell the people it was God who opened the mountains of the deep and opened the heavens. Buried the millions in a watery grave when they could have been inside the ark. Tell the people that it was me who burned Sodom and Gomorrah over the face of the earth. It was me who killed the most of them. I speak unto thee, and I say it is yet to be seen what I shall do. It is yet to be seen how I shall bring them down. It is yet to be seen the devastation, the ruination that is at hand. It is yet to be seen the suffering, the agony, the untold sorrows. It is yet to be seen. I say thank me and praise me, for I am not done. I am not finished. It is yet to be seen. You will see that the rocks are unnaturally clean. There's hardly any kelp, barnacle, the urchins, any. The yes, and the tide pools are similarly devoid of crab snails and other scurrying signs of life. In other words, these filter feeders that are taking in very high levels of bioconcentrating them are just not able to survive. And especially compared to 10 to 15 years ago when, uh, you know, you had to wear tennis shoes if you went to the beach or you'd cut the heck out of the, the bottom of your feet. Um, it's Life is, is being exterminated. The, the ocean is going extinct. And then it's carried into the Atlantic Ocean, and it will have to happen there in the Arctic Ocean and around the Antarctic. They're killing the entire global ocean. I speak unto thee this day, and I say it is me, the living God, who has indeed intended that men would allow themselves to be judged by me. That is, that they could be judged by the power of my spirit, that they could be made right and kept right in me. But I say, because men are unwilling to repent, to humble themselves, to bow before me, what do they do? I say they go in the way of pride, they go in the way of vain conceit, and I say that their hearts are far from me. And I say all the while they claim that it is me that they love, that it is me that they serve, but it is not true. For I say they are serving an undue opinion of themselves, and oh, how great they are. And I say they are serving the darkness, the iniquity of their own way, and loving to do so. But I say that I will have been God to intend that men would humble themselves in true repentance before me. That is, that they could be guided, directed, and shown my way. Now I say this day we are living in times when multitudes have chosen the way of their own understanding. I say they have chosen to go in lies. And I say they love to live in lies, they love to live in deceit, yet claim they are serving me. But I say it is the evil of being God who does see the utter iniquity that they are in, because they have closed themselves off from me. That is, they have chosen a way of their own understanding, a way of their own foolery and vanity, and loved it so. I say this day that I don't have been God, do not call you to foolery nor vanity, but I say that I call you to the truth that I provide. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you can be uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you can indeed be given the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope that I provide. For I say, when any will adhere to me, come forth in my way, then I say they are guided each day. But I say, when men are choosing the way of their own understanding, I say they are choosing to live in lies. I say, this day you are living in times when men have ranted and waited about being judged, refusing to accept my judgment in their lives. And I say they have refused to accept my condemnation of their sin, and they go on in the same. And I say all the while they gloat and pride and smack their lips and say, Judge not. But I say they are fools, for they are not accepting my judgment over them. That is, they are refusing to accept the judgment of my spirit against their sin, and I say they will perish in the same. That is, they will keep their sin and keep their sin and be proud of their sin and sin again. And I say all the while they are meant to repent, they are meant to turn from the wickedness of their way, yet I say they refuse to do so. And I say it is because they are so sure that they cannot be judged when it absolutely is not true. For I say that my people are meant to continually subject themselves unto me to the mind of my spirit, that they can indeed be judged by me. That is, that they can repent in this life and turn from those things that are offensive unto me and come forth in the way that I provide. But I say, when you see them stubbornly, proudly resist and refuse to repent to me, what do you see? 
I say, you see the foolishness of men and women who are left in their own way and loving it so. Now I say, this day that I am living, God never called men to walk in the way of their own understanding. But I say that I called them to humble themselves unto me. And I say that I've called men to refuse the way of pride to come into the way of humility that I intend. For I say when men will see their utter need of me and be subject to me, then I say they can be brought forth. That is, in the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength that I provide. Now I say this day when I don't have God to offer to my own the way that is truth, the way that is light, and the way that is mercy, I say they are meant to be thankful to accept the same. And I say when you see the ones who have chosen the way of rebellion against me, no, they will be found under my wrath revealed. For I say they are choosing the way of bitterness, they are choosing the way of corruption and wickedness, they are choosing the way of fools. And I say they are choosing that which I don't have been God did not intend, nor did I provide. Now I say this day that I don't have been God do not call you to walk in the way of fools, I do not call you to be found under my wrath. But I say that I call you to repent, to turn from that which is darkness, evil, and iniquity, and be found ever abiding in me. And I say that I call you to be directed in that which I give you, for I am indeed well able. That is, I am able to guide you forth, to uplift you, and correct you each and every day. Now I say this day, when you look upon what it is that I offer, what it is that I provide, I say, be thankful unto me. That is, be thankful to be guided forth, to be instructed and directed in the truth of who I am. For I say, when you will be accepting of that which I give thee, then I say you are instructed by me. And I say, when you will be directed and corrected, then I say you are guided forth. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to be thankful each and every day that you can indeed bend the knee unto me. That is, that you can be guided forth in that which I give you, which is my light upon the path. For I say, if you are willing to accept my Spirit's rule over your life, you will not be ashamed to confess and repent before me. But I say, when a man is wise in his own conceit, then I say that he scoffs my judgment over his life. And I say that he becomes a power unto himself, esteeming that he's better than he is. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live in vain conceit and contempt towards me, not at all. But I say that I call you to continue to humble yourself, to bow before me, and be thankful for my way. And I say that I call you to be of a purpose, directed and guided forth in the blessed that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope day by day. Therefore I say, be faithful to walk in me, to believe upon me, to trust each day in me. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who gives you all that you ever have need of, for I am indeed well able. And I say, be thankful that I give you exactly the light that you need to guide you in a way that I purpose for my own. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness revealed. Now I say this day of men are willing to accept my judgment and be found humbled by the same and walking in repentance before me, then I say it is me, the living God, who finds joy in them. But I say when men will walk according to the dictates of their own understanding, I say they are going in the way of fools. And yes, they will be found in a way that is darkness, iniquity, and wickedness because of what it is that they've chosen to be. Believe. For I say, when men are believing in their own righteousness, they are believing in lies. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to your own righteousness, but I say that I call you to the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength of who I am. And I say that I call you to be thankful that, yes, indeed, you are guided forth each day by me. I say that I call you to be thankful that, yes, indeed, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. For I say, when you will continue to believe, to receive, and be guided forth, then I say you are afflicted in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk circumspectly. I say that I intend you to be ever guided and instructed by me. That is, in the way of my righteousness, my truth, my mercy, provided day by day. For I say it is a time that I'm bringing my wrath upon the proud, the defiant, the rebellious, the hateful, who think they must have their way. For I say, when they choose the covering of lies, then they will be punished in the same. And I say, when men will reject my judgment of their sin and refuse to repent of the same, 
I say they are rejecting the mercies that they could have had, and I say they are choosing instead the way of their own destruction and damnation of soul. I say this day that I, the living God, do call my people to walk in the truth, the light, the strength that I give each and every day. And I say that I call my people to be guided forth, knowing that it is me they are privileged to serve. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that the ones who serve me would do so each and every day in the attitude of gratitude. That is, ever thankful to be shown the light upon the path, the walk, and the truth, and the strength, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is a good thing to be partaking of me, to be guided forth in my way. And I say it is a good thing to know that it is me, the living God, you can look to and believe. I say this day when you see what it is that I give thee, when you see my light upon the path, I say becoming forth uplifted each day in me. And I say be directed, corrected, and shown that I am the one who gives mercy always to my own. That is, I give tender mercy, I give loving kindness and the truth day by day. For I say when a people will accept my judgment over their lives, then they are able to walk in my truth. But I say, when men are swollen on pride and defiance, rebellion and hatred, for the humility way that I provide, I say they will refuse my judgment over them. And I say they will continually rant and scream and yell, do not judge. But I say the sad thing is, while they are so sure that none can judge, they shut out me. And I say they shut out the judgment of my spirit over their sin, and they continue in the same. And I say they have set themselves up for the wrath, the fury, the indignation that shall be revealed upon the ones who continue in the sinful state that they are in. That is, the ones who continue in the sin they have chosen above the truth. I say this day do not choose to lose by living in sin and darkness, but I say come forth uplifted in me. And I say, be made glad that I, the living God, will give to you the truth, the light, the strength, the hope, and the mercy that I provide. And I say, be thankful that I will guide you forth, that you can indeed be made glad that it is me that you serve. For I say, when you will be subject to me, coming forth in that which I give you, then I say, you are uplifted each day by me. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the light, and the mercy day by day. For I say it is a good thing to keep on loving, serving, and walking uprightly in me. And I say it is a good thing to know that I am the one who guides you forth. Therefore I say be faithful, be true, be steady to continue to believe and receive each day of me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give you the righteousness, the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. And it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth, that you can indeed be made glad, ever thankful unto me. That is, to receive my truth, my light, my strength, my purpose, day by day. I say this day, be thankful to look unto me, to believe me and trust me, for I am the one who gives you mercy day by day. And I say that I am the one who keeps you, as you will accept my judgment over thee. But I say, if you are too proud, rebellious, defiant, and stubborn to accept my judgment of sin, then I say, the very sin you defend will prove to be the destruction of your soul. And I say, you will know what it is to be bound under my wrath, my fury, my indignation revealed. I say this day, do not, absolutely do not accept your own understanding as the way of my life, or it is not. But I say, instead be willing to humble yourself to be subject to me and be brought forth in my way. And to be thankful that I am the one who gives you the truth and the light upon the path. That I am the one who guides you forth, that you can indeed be made glad to be serving me. That is, in the attitude of gratitude, that is, in the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. And I say, be made glad that you are privileged to believe and receive of me. That is, receive of my light upon the path, my truth given unto thee, and the strength that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who guides forth those who adhere to me and accept my judgment in their lives. But I say that the ones who refuse to accept my judgment are refusing me. And I say they are choosing to believe in lies, to be covered in pride, and likewise be under my wrath. I say be thankful to be judged by me. Follow peace and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. What? Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? God forbid! How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame, but whosoever committed sin is of the devil. God can kill the devil any time he wants to.
says the Lord thy God rejoiceth over thee to multiply thee and to bless thee and to do thee good. Even so shall the Lord thy God rejoice over thee to destroy thee and to cut you down to naught. Today, nobody that is living has ever seen anything like this. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evil.